Pluto, once the proud ninth planet of our solar system, continues to fascinate scientists and space enthusiasts alike, even after its reclassification as a dwarf planet in 2006. Though demoted in status, Pluto has never lost its place in the public imagination. Now, it's back in the headlines with a dramatic question. Could it one day collide with Neptune? It sounds like science fiction, but this speculation isn't without some basis in fact. Prominent scientists like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have hinted that Pluto's unusual orbit may one day bring it dangerously close to Neptune. It's a bold statement that immediately raises eyebrows, but let's take a closer look at what it really means. Pluto's orbit is unlike any other in the solar system. While most planets follow nearly circular paths around the Sun along the flat plane known as the ecliptic, Pluto marches to a different beat. Its orbit is both elliptical and steeply tilted, by about 17 degrees, relative to that flat plane. This means that as it moves around the Sun, Pluto's path cuts in and out of the ecliptic, rising far above and below the plane where most other planets travel. Even more intriguing is the fact that Pluto's elliptical orbit actually intersects that of Neptune. For about 20 years in each 248-year trip around the Sun, Pluto is actually closer to the Sun than Neptune is. That may sound like a guaranteed collision waiting to happen, but it's not quite that simple. Despite the overlap, Pluto and Neptune have never collided, and likely won't anytime soon, thanks to an incredible gravitational arrangement known as orbital resonance. Specifically, Pluto and Neptune are locked in a 3-2 resonance, meaning that for every three orbits Neptune makes around the Sun, Pluto makes two. This resonance ensures that the two bodies never come close enough to pose a danger. Every time Pluto is about to cross Neptune's orbital path, Neptune is safely on the opposite side of the Sun. It's an extraordinary cosmic dance, a gravitational choreography that has kept both bodies safe for billions of years. The precision of this resonance is a testament to the elegance of orbital mechanics, yet it's also where concerns about long-term stability begin to emerge. Scientists like Kaku and Tyson are raising a valid point. While the current arrangement is stable, it's also delicate. The solar system is a chaotic place, especially over vast timescales. Even tiny gravitational nudges, from other planets like Jupiter or Saturn, or from passing stars, could eventually disrupt this resonance. In the short term, millions of years, this gravitational lock remains reliable. But over hundreds of millions or even billions of years, small perturbations can accumulate. A shift of just a fraction of a degree in Pluto's orbit, or a slight deviation in Neptune's path, could unravel this perfect timing and send both bodies on a collision course. It's not just theoretical. Computer models of planetary motion over long periods show that the solar system is not perfectly stable. Interactions between planets, particularly involving large bodies like Jupiter and Saturn, can introduce chaos into the system. While we have good predictions for thousands or even millions of years, our ability to forecast planetary positions collapses over longer timescales. What if the worst were to happen? What if Pluto and Neptune were indeed to collide? The consequences would be dramatic. Pluto, composed mostly of rock and ice, would likely be shattered. Debris would scatter across the Kuiper belt, potentially forming new moons or smaller objects. Some fragments might even be ejected into the inner solar system, becoming dangerous interplanetary projectiles. Neptune, a gas giant with deep layers of atmosphere and a solid core, would likely absorb much of the impact, but it too would be affected, possibly developing massive atmospheric storms or seeing its orbit altered slightly and the scientific implications would be enormous. Such a collision would release energy on a scale not seen in the solar system since its chaotic early days. Michio Kaku suggests that events like this could recreate the high energy conditions of the early universe, offering rare chances to test theories like string theory, which seeks to unify all forces of nature through vibrating strands of energy. In string theory, such high-energy environments could allow researchers to probe dimensions beyond the familiar three of space and one of time. A collision between two planetary bodies could momentarily create conditions where the underlying structure of the universe becomes visible, something no laboratory on Earth could replicate.
Of course, this all remains hypothetical. For now, the Pluto-Neptune resonance holds strong, and astronomers aren't predicting any imminent catastrophe. Earth, meanwhile, remains well out of harm's way. Even if such a collision occurred, the effects would be localized to the outer solar system. Still, the discussion is more than academic. It's a reminder of how dynamic and interconnected the universe really is. Every orbit, every planet, every gravitational tug contributes to a vast and delicate balance. And even the smallest celestial bodies, like Pluto, play crucial roles in that cosmic puzzle. In the end, the possibility of a Pluto-Neptune collision may remain a remote one, but it underscores just how much we still have to learn. The more we observe, model, and theorize, the more we realize how finely tuned our solar system is, and how even the smallest perturbation could lead to extraordinary outcomes. At Waves Discovery, we believe in pushing those boundaries, asking bold questions, diving deep into the cosmos, and embracing the wonder of the unknown. Whether Pluto stays in its safe orbital groove or one day veers off course, one thing's for sure, the universe will keep surprising us. Stay curious, stay inspired. This is Discovery at 2.0.